you see a bunch of people in your neighborhood carrying around red umbrellas, it just might not be about the weather. December 17th is the International Day to End Violence Against Sex Workers, and the red umbrellas become a symbol of sex worker rights and safety. Why do we need such a day? Well, sex workers have long been targets. In 2003, one killer, the Green River Killer, Gary Ridgway, was good enough to make his motivation plain, confessing to having strength. 90 women to death and having quote-unquote sex with their dead bodies, he told the court he chose sex workers specifically because he thought he could get away with it. Quote, I thought I could kill as many of them as I wanted without getting caught. And he was right about that. Fellow sex workers were afraid to come forward with information that might have saved lives for fear that they themselves would be arrested. Those who did come forward were simply not believed. And that was part of what spurred Annie Sprinkle, author, activist, former sex worker, to organize vigils December 17th for the forgotten victims of the Green River Killer. Well, now similar actions have become an annual event from Bangladesh to Toledo, Hong Kong to Halifax. And there's lots to do. Rules need to change. In Philadelphia just two years ago, a man accused of raping a sex worker was instead charged with theft of services because someone decided it's not rape anymore, it's a property crime when the victim's a sex worker. Some sex workers around the world are out there organizing unions, demanding legalization to make their work less dangerous. All call for human rights and equal treatment under the law. Can any be free while all are not free? Sex workers say no one's safe as long as any category exists of person or worker who still under the law is considered fair game for brutal treatment. Those who agree just might want to find their brolly today. Thanks for watching.